Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how and when to use the Nissi Six Stop Neutral Density Filter to create results like this. So let's get into it. Our location for this morning's video is a spot called the Bogey Hole, which might sound a little bit uh, humorous, but it is an absolutely amazing seascape location just outside of Newcastle on the east coast of Australia. And right behind us, we've got massive waves splashing. We're here at high tide and the sun has not long just risen over the horizon. Now the purpose of this filter is to let in less light through your camera lens. So you can see that this is a relatively dark piece of glass and that's because it is six stops worth of neutral density or darkening. In this situation with the sun having risen, I know that I wanted to capture the seascape and the motion in the waves or the water by slowing it right down to capture the swirling movements of some of the whitewash inside of the bogey hole and some of the waves coming in and out while still giving it a relatively smooth look. I'm not going for super smooth, that's where I'd move into more of something like a 10 stop filter. But in this case, I still wanted to show a bit of that motion as well as having the sun in the frame, really creating a dynamic effect through the entire photo. Now there are three shots I've taken this morning as an example to put in this video for you to show exactly how the filter can be used to really create a dynamic effect, as well as incorporate a couple of the techniques that we've showed in other videos in this series to really bring a final photograph together in a single frame. The very first shot I'm going to bring up on the screen for you now is a image of just the bogey hole with no filters. The sun had just risen over the horizon, so there was a bit more light coming through to the camera, and that forced the shutter speed to slowly increase step by step by step. The second shot was taken with the six stop filter on, and going from 1 8th of a second in the same lighting conditions down to 10 seconds really allowed to capture that flow and motion and movement in the image showing the water movement and rolling around of the whitewash and the waves inside of the bogey hole. The third image incorporates what we did in the first video in the series, which was all about the reverse edge neutral density filter or graduated neutral density filter. I dropped the three stop graduated ND filter in there, which darkened down the sky enough and I put it on just a slight angle to offset on the white barricades and fence posts just over here to my right. Putting in that filter with the six stop really allowed for that longer shutter speed motion, as well as a lot more balance in the dynamic range to create what I would consider more of a finished photograph to take into post-processing. Now I've talked about the six stop filter being able to slow the shutter speed down, but one question you may have is how do you actually calculate that shutter speed? So I'm going to just give you two really quick ways that you can work out your exposure based on one, either using the Nissi app, or two, by doing a simple technique called counting clicks. Now counting clicks is very simple and it works on a set of threes. Now one stop will work in a set of three, so it would be, as an example, ISO 100 to 200 would be one full stop of light increased. But if you're going to count clicks, it would go ISO 125, ISO 160, and then through to 200. And that is what would be considered three clicks. So if you put in six stops, you know that, okay, six stops at three clicks, we need 18 clicks to compensate, allowing more light in, to really balance out the exposure from where it was originally when you set your camera. But that is a really quick run and gun way to work out your exposure. 
The second way is to set up your camera without any six stop filters on it. You can put in a graduated filter or a polarizer, something like that, and then work out a base exposure, put that shutter speed into the app. So I'll use one eighth of a second as an example, and then change the slider to six stops, which will spit out what your shutter speed with the six stop filter in should be. Thanks so much for watching the video and I hope that you found it beneficial in picking up a few tips and tricks on how to use the Nissi six stop ND filter. If you are interested in a filter in Australia or the United States, click the links in the description down below where you'll find links to my websites and you can order them direct from there. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe with the little bell icon so you don't miss another video as they're released. See you in the next one.